Today, I'm going to show you how to use a regular expression to retrieve the data, data dynamic change all the time, and how to debug it if you encounter any issue during the process. Here's an example. Every time one can understand the latitude and the longitude, it always changes at last two or three digital numbers. So it would be very difficult to catch these changes. So in order to catch these changes, we have to use the regular expression to retrieve this dynamic change and update those data to another location for our testing purpose. Okay, let's start it. Okay, we're going to use this request with parameters for the testing. Let's start, let's go to the tools and rewrite. Check enable rewrite, click add. Let's change the name for our first set. Okay, let's put a location regular express. Okay, add a location here. Add the HTTP for protocol and the host name for the host port. We use 80. You have to use your portal number for your request. Pass. As we can see. It's the pass before the question mark. Okay, for the query, we are going to use action 6 to identify our request. Uh, because sometimes you may have multiple requests with different uh, parameter and values, so you have to use a unique uh, parameter and the values to identify your request. Okay, next step, let's add rules. Okay, let's add a modify query parameter for type, name. Okay, here, let's new name empty to say what happened if we don't feel anything for the name. Okay. Okay. For the value, let's first change the latitude. Okay. We're going to change the latitude to another number. So we know uh, for the latitude, 43 won't be changing. It will only change at last two or three digital numbers. So we can use the 43 dot to locate all values. So we put uh, 43 backslash d star and then in replace we put the 40 dot 7 1 2 a for the new value that we're going to change. Okay let's apply and uh, let's resend this request again. Okay we say the request was sent out, but uh, the latitude was not changed as we expected. So let's go back, rewrite, and then root to check what's going on here. You know, when you use the regular expression, you have to check to enable a regular expression make it work. Okay, let's check here and uh, apply it again and then resend the request. However, this time when we ask a resend, the request didn't send out. So something is wrong here. Let's go to the error log we found that there are arrows through here. Let's uh, re-verify this. So let's resend again. It didn't send out. Go back uh, error log. We see another error 
added at the end of the log. So from this arrow thread, we found uh, something wrong at the rewrite and uh, set field. So something wrong for setting. So let's go back the rewrite, check everything. Okay, you know, when you choose to modify query parameter for the type, you have to put something for the name. Otherwise, you will see error in the exceptions. So here, let's put the latitude to match the name for the parameter. Also put the latitude for the replacement name. Okay, let's apply it. And then let's reset again. Okay, this time request is sent out. So we see the number was changed as we want for the latitude. However, the number of the dot it's still there. It wasn't retrieved. So we have to correct our regular expression. So let's go back. Go to the root. You know, the dot is a special character for the regular expression. So let's put the backslash dot to retrieve all the data of the number. Okay, let's resend the request again. Okay, we see request sent out, and this time latitude the number was changed as we expected. We not see any date after dot. Okay, so that's good. Let's go back, rewrite, and lose. Add another parameter, location and latitude. Uh, let's click Add. Choose a modify curly parameter for the type, and put the location for the name. This time, let's retrieve the word for the characters. Okay, let's put backslash double star to retrieve the word characters. Okay, check the regular expression and put the location also and the replacement name. Okay, let's put a value US dash New York dash New York. Okay, let's add another longitude. Same thing. Choose a modify query parameter for type. Put the longitude for the name. Value. Let's use minus seventy nine to relocate this value and put the longitude in the name for the replacement and the new value minus 74.00591 okay okay let's apply it okay let's go back and make sure regular express is checked okay apply Okay, let's resend the request again. Okay, question is resend up. And uh, now we can see location changed to US New York, latitude changed to 42 dot something, and the longitude changed to minus 74 dot something. So that's how to use a regular expression to retrieve the data that dynamically changed.